Hey guys, it's Disney Drachi and welcome to the Frozen Phantasmic Marathon. For three days, I will be reviewing three different Frozen merchandise items. So, um, today is day one, and it is the Elsa Animator Doll. So I recently just got this. I got it on DisneyStore.com, yet the box is a little damaged, so I decided to, um, just open it anyway. So, um... Elsa and I do not have the on at all so um sorry if you wanted to see that or something like that but um so let's get started here's the box and like I said it'll be three days so this is just day one and it'll be in order so so there won't be a gap between them these are just like sketches Pretty cool. Oops. And it was $25. And then, so this box is a little unstable because of it's like um, cracks and everything. Because of DisneyStore.com's like shipping, I guess. But um, it's okay. And on the bottom. Nothing on and the top. I should move. Okay. Here at the doll. So open it up. So like I said, she was $25. And that's the regular price for any animated doll. And I do want to put, um... Disney on the spot for not like raising the prices as much. So I don't think they raised any of the prices actually um, during the time when Frozen was um, popular. So kudos to them. So this is the exact same price of any other animated doll. Pick it up like this. So let me know in the comments who you like better, who like Anna or Elsa better. So here she is without the plastic. And they are coming out with a frozen um, animator pack, or well, animator collection um, with Anna and Elsa going to be like a deluxe kind of pack so um that's coming out in November of this year so um I may be able to get that I'm not sure though and um, I'll be right back I'm gonna take off these um the stickers and whatever after what seemed like an eternity I finally got all that out of the package and um it wasn't as easy as I thought it would but um but it's fine, it's definitely worth it to get her out of the package. So here she is. And she is posable if we can move her arms, her feet, and I believe her head. Yep. So um, let's take a look at the dress. So this is exactly from the movie. We have the nice embroidery. They aren't stitched, they're like, um, looks like they're kind of like painted on. And sending from the bottom as well. So they're not stitched, but that's fine. I mean, you don't expect that much, but... It's pretty cool. Eyes. Eyes are painted, of course. And we have the back. The bottom. It's a little cringly in the back. That's okay. She has a bow on. And her hair is in a French braid. And it's not as long, so it can't go around her neck, but it's just like that. And she's wearing a little headband. Then her shoes. Pretty detailed. So overall, this is a really nice figure. And if you do have other animator dolls, 
I recommend getting this one. Um, I do need to find Anna, of course, but um, hopefully I will. This is a really nice doll, so I recommend if you get the opportunity to get her, definitely get it. So it's very nice and detailed doll. So it's pretty cool. And I think that any collector of any um of even women edition dolls should get her. Because it's a nice um it's a nice collectible. And it's really detailed. So thanks for watching and have a magical day. Stay tuned for day two of Fantastic Frozen. Have a magical day. Bye.